And we back is Vach Lombardi with day three of senior bowl coverage, O-line versus D-line. Um, so people ask me, was I going to do wide receiver versus DBs? Hell no, they're not fun. <laughs> I am an advocate for for the uh, for the uh, big children. Uh, it's kind of chorish to do uh, wide receiver versus DBs. We got Neville Galmore up first, showing off his quickness, man. Look at that. Showing off his quickness, crossing face, um, slapping with the left. Absolutely slapping with – he's he's getting up – Upfield first, right? Upfield, outside shoulder, boom, crossing face here, slapping, swimming over the top. And he's showing that quickness, man, showing that quickness. And he does have power. My only thing with Neville Galmore is that I wish he would, you know, be a little more uh, consistent. Like, sometimes he's fantastic. Sometimes he's very blockable. And I could be bugging, but I think he lost a little bit of weight. Take a look at him there. I feel like when I was watching the game in Oklahoma, I think he was a lot more husky than this. Chat box tell me if I'm tripping. But, um... I don't know. I just thought he was a little, he was he was a little more fluffy than that, but I could be bugging. It ain't bad, West Virginia. Once you got your feet settled, once you got your base, you got your base going there. Okay, that helped out a little bit. But hey, I want I don't want you like getting pushed way back here. And you want to know one of the main reasons you traveled that far? Look at your hands, my guy. Uh, you didn't deliver a blow. He hit you first. Okay. Take note, young offensive lineman, also young pass rushers here, right? You see who hit first and you see whoever get hands inside first. The other person is going to travel a little bit, right? Um, but uh, if you take a look at the West Virginia tackle here, he got a little bit of knee bend, got a good little base going and he uh, kind of sealed that up, you know, kept his feet moving nicely there. So not a bad job, uh, you know, recovering from uh, West Virginia. But, hey, get them hands inside. And I don't know what logo this is because the University of the United States, that's that, that's that school Prince Hakeem went to, man. Somebody tell me what school that is. <laughs> Come on, man. It's my guy, uh, Stro, uh, Strowman, Strawberry, Strowman. Strowman. Let me take a Where my notepad at? <laughs> he was up against Josh Jones, too. Uh, Strowbridge. Pardon me. I don't know who the hell Strowman is. <laughs> um, yes, he was up against um, Josh Jones from Houston. Both these guys are are noteworthy opponents. So, um, let's see what happened here, man. Let's uh, go back and take a look at his reps. So it's gonna come off the ball, not bad. They're pretty violent, but he's gonna try to defeat the. Hey, look. Young defensive ends, if you're going to defeat the hands, defeat the hands. Don't just kind of slap at them to be slapping at them, right? We want to be slapping at people to get hands off you. But if Josh is just going to get hands on you anyway, then that's ball game, right? You want to be defeating those hands to get them off you, then to make another move so you can be strong, so you can have the advantage. But uh, Josh ended up in fantastic. This is perfect right there. That's perfect, my guy. That's, look, you got your hands inside, you got your knees bent, chest big, solid base right there. That's fantastic. Ain't nothing you can do with you. Ain't nothing you can do with you. Um, Strawbridge showed a good display of power that after he got in a in a very compromised spot, he was still able to get some movement. And, you know, Josh can probably put a little more weight room on himself in that aspect. But, uh, hey, if somebody get hands on you and their knees are bent and their base is good and their chest is big, then you dead as fried chicken, my guy. That just is what that is. Strawbridge. Who is straw? I want to say strawberry. <laughs> straw, straw man. Strawson. I, I just had all the names wrong. Hey, man, it's still January. I know a lot of people want to be early and soon right now. It's still January. We got time. By the time we get to April, oh, we're going to smoke this. Fantastic job. But who is this? Washington kid from uh, this oh, this offensive lineman from Washington here at center. He's going to snap the ball. Boom. He's going to get up under you. And he's going to keep those feet moving. Don't stop your feet. Don't stop the love. Because even when we spin, we're not going to over commit to one side. We're going to keep our balance here. Now, if he was leaning and Buddy would have spin right there, he would have just been falling, right? But he had the base good. Hands good, feet kept moving. Good rep right there. Good rep right there. Center front. That's my boy Hennessy, Hen Dog. Um, but yeah, good rep from um, the uh, uh, the center from Washington. Good rep from him. Good rep from him. And who is this? He's just gonna run over this cat. <laughs> uh, cameraman kind of messing us over right there. But it seems like we got a pretty good bull rushing. Hey, let me tell you something, D lineman. When you got O lineman skating like this. Use that momentum. That's exactly what he did. If you're going to go all the way here, I'm going to use that momentum. I'm going to spin back. I'm going to, to basically defeat your hands with this nasty ass. Ah! 
<laughs> don't just spin the spin around. Use that hand and ah, get somebody off of you, bro. Fix your jersey, bro. What are you doing? Come on, fix, fix, fix your clothes. <laughs> we got people watching. Neville Galmore versus Hand Dog. You gonna get drunk, Neville Galmore? You a shot man or a sit man, Neville Galmore? Oh, you ain't even up next. You got UConn versus is that Willikus? About time we saw Willikus, man. These damn. And look, even the camera angle here is bad, man. But we've been waiting to see Willikus for a while, man. And Willikus kind of going to run down the middle of this guy. Hey, UConn, good job dropping your butt, popping your feet. This, this, this is what I mean. I always try to give examples of what I mean by popping your feet and giving ground slowly. If somebody's just going to bull rush through you, Man, look, find a find a solid place with your hands and hold on and take a look at his feet, right? He's going to pop and give ground, stop, slowly. He's going to pop again, boom, give ground slowly. And before you know it, you got to stop. <laughs> if you a D, if you a D lineman, you know, either the ball is going to be gone, the carrier is going to be away from you, man. You just slowly pop your feet to get guys away, just to slowly give ground. It ain't nothing you can do about that, man. Nothing you can do about that. Who's up next? Who's up next? Who's up next? Alden Robinson from Syracuse over that lined up. He's on deck. Strom is on deck. Galmore is on deck. This must be the be the first four here. This must be the the starting team for the uh, Senior Bowl situation coming up. For the uh, Senior Bowl game coming up. Got a little bit of a, 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 a speed cross your face. Yeah, man. Let me take a look at the offensive line. What happened here? First of all, bro, pick your ankle up off the grass there. What are you doing? Pick your ankle up, man. Get on, get on, get on your feet. Get ready to travel. Um, I'll tell you exactly what happened here. Hey, so you know, if you're an offensive lineman, you kind of got two feet. You got your post foot as your up foot. Then you kind of got this back foot that you kick and travel with, right? And your post foot is your power foot. That's where you're strong. You typically don't want to drop it because if you drop it, you drop a lot of your power there. There's certain there's certain situations like if somebody's like stunting or whatever, you moving with them, you can you could possibly drop it. But uh, most of the times, if you drop this post foot, you just end up not as powerful. So we're gonna kick, 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 and if you're gonna cross your face viciously like that, you want to pound your post foot back inside without dropping that foot. That's gonna make you powerful, powerful enough to deal with whatever you're dealing with. The problem is he kicks so deep <laughs> and he gave up the inside so much. Look at all this space he had. He went from this much space between him and the right guard to this much daggone space. And if dude's going to cross your face like this and the quarterback is right there, and you gave up that much room and you drop your post foot. This is what's going to happen to you every single time, fam. Every single time. Sometimes it's okay to drop that post foot, you know, depending on where you at, but you can't give up the inside and drop your post with you, you. You just gave them all the inside outs. You gave away all the, all the, the cheat codes, my guy, come on. Use, use these cheat codes to your advantage. Okay. So, uh, we got a Houston guard versus, um, Strawbridge. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! Don't, don't get up mad now. Don't get up and smack the air and smack coach. Don't hit coach. Oh, man. I like the Carolina kid, but we got to give the Houston kid some credit. And I'll tell you exactly what happened, too. Take note, young offensive line. We talk about hands inside, all right? Hands inside, my guy. <laughs> Boy, if you got hands inside, this ain't number bench press right here. Goodness. Damn, I like Strawbridge, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the Wait a minute. Now we gotta research the Houston kid. Hey, can somebody find me the Houston kid that's playing right guard in the senior bowl practice right now? Because he just bench pressed my guy Strawbridge. Did Strawbridge get tripped up or something? What happened? I tell you what. How about this? Let's just say everything Strawbridge is doing wrong. What's his whole name? What's his first name? Jason. Let's talk about what Jason's doing wrong here, okay? First of all, he's doing that hand slap thing where he's not getting getting rid of hands again. You see him slapping hands like he's supposed to be getting rid of hands, but it's not working. If you're going to slap hands and hand fight, get hands off of you. If you're doing this and they still get hands on you, it means nothing, right? But my man's, boom, you see the hand right there? He got hands on you anyway, so that's your first problem. Second, you standing straight up. 
Your knees do not bend at all. Look at how high your helmet is compared to his. His helmet is low. His knees are bent. His base is good. Your feet, I bet you, this coach in a way. But if you stand up like this, I'm willing to bet your feet damn near they're damn near next to each other right now. They're 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 they tied together by by your shoestrings, man. And I tell you what, if you got slim feet again, if you're just gonna try to cross cross his face and you ain't got all the other components, then of course he's going to drive you into the ground, my guy. This is definitely a win for the offensive line. I'm offensive line guy. Uh, this is a win. We just dirtied this dude jersey up, boy. North Carolina colors now are like powder blue and green, my guy. You just put him in. They ain't going to get up and smack the air. Don't smack the air, my guy. You almost hit coach. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> coach got to grab Hey man, <laughs> Don't hit me, man. We got Neville Galmore versus uh versus versus, versus Hen Dog, my man Hennessy. I'm gonna call him Hen Dog for the duration of the draft experience. And hey, seemed to be a pretty good battle there. I'll give it to Galmore, but let's see what happened here. Galmore with the power, he's gonna bring, he's gonna try to release that hand over the top. Hey, not bad trying to free your hands. All right, just cause, just because the offensive lineman got the hand advantage on you doesn't mean you can't try to free your hand, right? Somebody asked me the other day, Vosh, what do you mean by stop running down the middle of people? Well, when we when when we're D linemen, when we're uh going up against these O linemen here, if you go down the middle of somebody, they're more powerful that way. You see how Galmore is attacking half of the center here? You you're you're of course you're stronger than half of this dude. <laughs> so at least I hope so. Uh so we see Neville Galmore with the power. He's appropriately attacking the outside hand of this dude. Plus he got half of this dude. Then he got his hands free. He got his hands free to, hey, you know, swim around, do other stuff, free yourself, free yourself, express yourself. You know what I mean? Get that dude up off you, man. Pretty good rep by Neville Galmore. Pretty good rep by the Houston right guard. Please somebody in the chat box give me the name of the Houston right guard that just put my man Jason Strawbridge on the ground. This is the third time I've seen this Wake Forest dude do something technique-wise that I hated, but he ended up working his way out of. If I could control, alt, delete this coach right here. Okay, he's. I think he's going to punch this dude and not move his feet at all. Oh, well, never mind. He, 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 he moved his feet a little bit. It's just a little short set. He didn't kick at all, and and that's okay. Nothing wrong with with the uh, with the uh, short setting. Um, Texas A&M center from last year, uh, McCoy. He made a whole senior bowl practice out of short setting people, right? Just kind of picking your feet back up again. But mostly, you want to get hands on hands on somebody quick. Uh, you maybe you don't have faith in your travel ability and your your quickness and your your movement and things like that. So you just want to get hands on guys quickly just to stop them from moving. So I ain't mad at that. He gave up a lot of ground, though. That's what I do hate. That is what I am mad at. So stop giving up so much daggum ground. And um, We'll go from there. That's Alden Robinson. I wish he was in frame, but you know, cameraman go cameraman. Why they got a cameraman close right here? Just to have another guy behind him with the high view. I hate it. But Alden Robinson, even with all this elevation, he's not in film, but I could tell he came off the ball and he punched the hell out this dude strictly based off the information that I have that um the offensive tackle here, he just got warped into like he got hit. He he got hit just what, five, six, seven yards? What was it? Let me see. You went back to the future, my guy. Yeah, you, 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 you that's, that's pure power right there. And it happened because his hands were inside and he was lower than him and his knees was bent. He was pushing and driving. Uh, so, yeah, um, left tackle, you need to stop giving so much ground. It's, it's, it's really starting to make me sick. You are scaring the children. Look at this dude. This, so, look, they got, a, they got a cameraman, a cameraman with a long like bipod type of thing, monopod, I guess. They got another tall camera behind them. Just run this view the whole way. What are we doing? <laughs> Just run this view the whole time. I don't understand. Utah, UConn got led astray. Who is this, Bond? That's, that's, uh, that's your boy, Zach Bond. Let's see what Zach Bond did. We finally got some names in here, man. <sighs> that spin was kind of terrible, but I ain't going to trip. I always tell people not to spin just for the sake of you know, doing it like to set your spin move up to get a little more, um, you know, movement outside to actually get them moving one way. Then you, you know, use that momentum and get back inside. But, you know, you kind of right tackle, you recovered well, you got inside. And look, even even if that were look, the spin worked. <laughs> you just got to you just got to stay on your feet. You just got to finish the spin work, man. You just, you know, you just wanted to eat some grass, my guy. 
I want to see uh I want to see my man's from uh Carolina go again. Strawbridge go again. He needs to redeem himself. He needs to absolutely redeem himself from being uh pal driven. <laughs> Somebody doing a wrestling move on this guy. I really think I'm going to go to Mobile next year, man, because like when like when I do these senior bowl kind of recaps, the breakdowns or whatnot, they teammates. I, how y'all let them pull that off? Um when I do these uh, breakdowns or whatever, like, I mean, I'll probably get like four minutes of footage, five minutes of footage, but I know this pass rush circuit has been going on to where each defender or like offensive guy is done. Yeah, it's done. Where each guy at least have gone three or four times, man. And you know, I, that that's a good way to evaluate, man. We can't, we can't evaluate because look, we've only seen Bradley and Nay one time. We've seen Ke- uh, Kenny Willick is one time. We've seen Ken Law one time. Noah Gallimore one time. Um, Strawbridge, we've seen Uche, we've seen all these guys one time. So now we really got to be thorough with our with our research and we got to be surgical when we're watching the senior bowl game Saturday or whatever. Just 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 because we weren't given everything that we was uh that we was promised. You know, you gotta pay what you owe, Santa. And um, you know, we just gotta, you know, do our part as couch scouts or crib scouts, however you want to call us. All right. Um like the video, hit the doorbell and all that good stuff. Let me know you're home and uh, hey, follow me on Twitter, V O C H L O M B A R D I. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. My bad about your right ear. I'll figure it out at some point, but whatever. Peace, y'all. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen feature, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.